I'm Sam Barry, author of How to Play the Harmonica, and this is Jason Headley, and I'm going to teach Jason how to play some blues. All right, Jason, we're going to play in second position, or cross harp. That means we're going to play our C harps in the key of G. Okay. We're going to do the famous I'm a man riff, which goes, oops, that was upside down. And then you have two beats. We can do other things there, like this. So I put a chord in. Or, you know, we can do a little trill. That's like, you know, two notes fast. <laughs> or we could do a riff. Okay, now you, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, three blow, four blow, three blow, three draw, three blow. Oh, man, that sounds good, but a little Presbyterian. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is get a little bend on that three draw, and bending is where you create a choke point in your mouth. Your tongue goes back and creates a choke point. It's actually closing one reed and starting to make the blow reed vibrate, and you get the sympathetic sound in between. So you're going, huh? Right? You're going, huh? I was doing that. <laughs> Up in here. Okay, so let's try one draw. Just play one draw. Jason's already bending one draw accidentally. It sounds a little flat. Did you notice that? It's like, yeah. right? Make it a little more. The, the, I feel like the a guys, failure. Can we stop filming now? The guys, <laughs> the guys who invented this called it choking. They didn't call it bending, which is a better word for it. It's like, you're, and actually with this one draw, you almost drop your draw a little. Try that. So the back end of the harp is up, and it's like it's pointing down to the roof, uh, floor of your mouth. A little deeper in and go. You are a failure, actually. Oh, I am. No, I'm only kidding. You're, no, you're doing fine. <laughs> this is hard. Bending is hard. Well, I just want you to pretend you're French. You know how the French are always going, tu. I don't know why, because I don't know French. <laughs> but they're always saying, tu. Say, tu. tu. Take your French, tu. Say, you don't like George Bush. Tu. Tu. Now go backward doing that. Inhale and go ahead. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I don't speak French. Say, tu backwards. Not... <laughs> say, tu into your mouth. <laughs> yeah, and say, k. <laughs> it's kind of weird, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Try that. <laughs> do it. That's right. what I signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and do it. Okay, so it's three blow, four blow, three blow. Three draw with the and three blow. Not bad, Jason, not bad. Now you got a little time there after that because it, it, does, it, it goes. And then these two beats, right? Yeah. Excellent, let's do it again. Let's hear it, Jason. Well, when I was a young boy, let's hear it again. Born in West Virginia. I don't know <laughs> what town. <laughs> I threw him off there. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's cool. You just keep practicing that. And you can throw in a little chord thing. And this is good practice. And then shift. Okay, I like to liken it to the crevice tool in a vacuum cleaner when you're playing a single note, right? That's mm -hmm. how you get into those crevices. You want to go to the brush tool, okay? Put it up in front of your teeth a little, uh, in front of these big teeth, and put your lips over it. So now you're like, yeah, nice, let me hear that. Now do the draw. By the way, when we're playing second position across our, the draw chord is your home bass chord. Try that. Beautiful, so let's do the riff and then the chords. Ready, and. Draw. I think he's got it. The blues. <laughs> <laughs>